What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. I am back again with my weekly NFL spread picks. For those who've been following the channel, last week we went one for two with teaser parlays and six out of eight out of individual spread picks correct. That is very hot. That is probably unsustainable on a week-to-week -week basis, but let's get the momentum going into week 13 with a Black Friday game, Las Vegas Raiders versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Right now, the line is at 13 and a half, and throughout the week is around 13, 13 and a half, 14, around that area. Barely any movement with this line. The Chiefs not only have not covered in the last five games, but they have yet to cover a spread with double digits, which was last week against Carolina. Double digit spread in a divisional game. Don't feel comfortable, especially since the Chiefs have not covered a double digit spread at all this week, this year. Give me the Las Vegas Raiders at 13 and a half. I do, I expect the Chiefs to blow them out but until the Chiefs can show some consistency covering the spread especially double digits and 13 and a half is a bit too much for the divisional game i'll take my stab at the raiders at 13 and a half so i'm taking the raiders at plus 13 and a half houston texans versus the jacksonville jaguars right now the line is at three and a half it did start the week around four it has crept down to three and a half for those who are probably wondering that this is probably an easy pick texas texans minus three and a half Let's stop right there. Even though the Houston Texans are the better team against the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Houston Texans have yet to cover a spread in divisional games this year. And since C.J. Stroud has been a quarterback for the Houston Texans, they are the third best team in the division to cover the spread in, within their division. Don't know how I feel about this three and a half, especially since the Texans beat the Jaguars by four. This is going to be a teaser parlay that I'm going to have. Three-point teaser for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I am taking it from a plus three and a half up to a six and a half. The Jaguars are coming off their bye. They're at home. I believe Trevor Lawrence should be good to go in this game. Until the Houston Texans can cover a spread this year in their division, I'm going the opposite way. Three-point teaser for the Jacksonville Jaguars plus six and a half. Tennessee Titans versus the Washington Commanders. Right now, the line is at six. Early in the week, it was around five and a half. It has crept up to six. I don't know about you, and I know a lot of you are probably going to the Commanders because they are the better team, have the better record. But if you really think about it, Will Levis has actually played quite well the past few weeks. I believe the last three games were against playoff teams. So I think that's something that you should consider, that Levis has gotten better this season, and especially as of late. The Tennessee Titans have a top 10 defense, and they're number one in the NFL in passing yards allowed. The Washington Commanders did did have some trouble against quality defenses. It took them a hell of Mary to beat the Chicago Bears. They did lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So until this commander's team can show that they can beat or probably blow out a quality defense this season, give me a teaser with the Tennessee Titans from a plus six up to a plus 12 until the commanders can show that they can at least cover a spread against, I want to say cover a spread, but until they can at least blow a team out, with a quality defense, I'm taking my chance at the Tennessee Titans, and I like a potential upset here. I think that the Washington Commanders will not only try to throw on the Tennessee Titans team, but I do expect this Titans team's defense to stop the Commanders and give Wallace, Will Levis a chance to beat the Commanders or at least find his way to attempt to. But I like the Tennessee Titans in a six-point teaser, point plus six up to a plus 12 against the Commanders. Seattle Seahawks versus the New York Jets. Right now, the line is at one. It started off at one and a, at one went up to one and a half up to two it's gone down to one i believe there's a lot of momentum going to the jets side especially with them coming from a bye i do not trust this jets team whatsoever this team has been pretty much garbage throughout the season and i like the seattle seahawks at minus one here they're still alive in the playoff picture and still alive to win the division they're up against the la rams the cardinals and the 49ers still have a mathematical chance to make the playoffs the seahawks gotta win this game i like the seahawks at minus one over the new york jets arizona cardinals versus the minnesota vikings right now the line is at three it did start the week at plus at four it has gone down to three there's a lot of momentum going to the arizona Cardinals side with reason. There's a lot of motivation for the Cardinals to win this game. And if you look at the Minnesota Vikings, they have not played that well since losing to the LA Rams. And I don't have a good feeling about this Vikings team, especially since they play against the Atlanta Falcons next week, which is the Kirk Cousins homecoming game. I feel like this is a game where the Vikings can potentially play down to the Cardinals or maybe not care much about this game. So I like the Cardinals here at plus three. I think the Cardinals can potentially 
upset the Vikings or make it close. I think the Cardinals make this game very interesting. I like the Cardinals at plus three. They're still a playoff potential type team who have a lot of motivation going to Minnesota Vikings, and I think they can keep it close, especially since that the Vikings have been in close games the past few weeks. Give me the Cardinals at plus three. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Right now, the line is at three. It did start off the week at two and a half, and it has crept up to three. The Cincinnati Bengals have yet to beat a team over 500, and the only team that they've beaten at home was against the Las Vegas Raiders. The last time that a team over 500 was getting plus points was the Philadelphia Eagles, and they won outright. So I like my chance in this divisional game. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers at plus three. I don't trust this Bengals team so far playing against teams over 500 and winning at home against quality teams. I like a stab here, close divisional AFC North matchup. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers at plus three. LA Chargers versus the Atlanta Falcons. Right now, the line is at one. There's been barely any movement throughout the week. It did start at one and a half. It's gone to one. I like the LA Chargers here. The Falcons have yet to have quality wins against quality defenses throughout the season. Yes, I know they are at home, but the LA Chargers have a very good defense and the Falcons need to show show that they can start beating quality teams throughout the season, especially a quality defense. They did struggle against the Denver Broncos and the Chargers have a similar good defense like the Denver Broncos. Give me the LA Chargers at minus one. I think they could win outright at Atlanta. I know Atlanta is coming off a bye, but I like the Chargers and their solid defense and I need to see some consistency with this Falcons team beating quality defenses and quality teams. I'll take my stab at the LA Chargers. Give me the minus one. Indianapolis Colts versus the New England Patriots. Right now, it's at two and a half. I'll take the Colts at two and a half. Don't have much faith in this Patriots team. I know Drake May is a bit scrappy, and I know this Patriots team can be a bit sneaky, but I like how this Colts team has been playing as of late. They did beat the Jets by a point. They did keep things interesting against the Detroit Lions, and I do expect them to keep that momentum going into New England. Give me the Indianapolis Colts at minus two and a half against the New England Patriots. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Carolina Panthers. The line has been at six throughout the whole entire week. This is going to be a close divisional matchup. I do expect the Panthers to have their moments against this subpar Buccaneers defense. Bryce Young has been playing well as of late. The Panthers have covered this, have covered the spread in three straight games. I do like the Buccaneers to win outright. I do not feel comfortable taking the Buccaneers minus six against a divisional team. Against the Panthers has been covering spreads lately and Bryce Young playing well. I'm teasing this six down to a three. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from a minus six down to a minus three. And this would be my first teaser parlay with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So I'm going Jacksonville plus six and a half and Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus three. That will be my three point teaser that I will have for week 13. LA Rams versus the New Orleans Saints. Right now, the line is at three. It was around two, two and a half throughout the week. I feel comfortable taking the LA Rams minus three. They're still in the thick of things in the NFC West in the division. They have a chance to make the playoffs. Don't have much faith in the Saints team. And I don't know if the if the Saints defense can stop Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, and Kyron Williams, and Matthew Stafford's trying to get hot a little bit. I like the Rams to beat the Saints by over a field goal. So give me the LA Rams minus three. Philadelphia Eagles versus the Baltimore Ravens. Right now, the line is at three. It did start the week at two and a half. This will be a very close game. This is the best team that Philly has played all season. This is the best team or well, best NFC East team that the Baltimore Ravens have played this season and potentially the best offense that the Ravens defense is going up against. I think this game will go back and forth. I'm going to lean on the Philadelphia Eagles side. I think they can potentially win this game outright, but I'm going to give a six point teaser to the Philadelphia Eagles spread. I'm taking it from a plus three up to a plus nine. This will be my six point teaser parlay going with the Titans at plus 12 and Philadelphia Eagles at plus nine. I like the Philly, I like the Philadelphia Eagles to make this game close. And even if the Eagles do lose, I doubt it will be more than nine points. I feel comfortable with them keeping this game close, potential outright. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles at plus nine with the six-point teaser. San Francisco 49ers versus the Buffalo Bills. Right now the line is at seven. It did start the week around five, five and a half. 
a lot of the momentum is going to Buffalo Bills way. Brock Purdy is still hurt. He's probably been living it throughout the week. We don't know what's going on with Nick Bosa. We don't know what's going on with Trent Williams. This is a very tough team for this 49ers team to beat. I like the Buffalo Bills to beat the 49ers by at least a touchdown. I know the Niners still have CMC. He still looks a bit of a show of himself. Debo hasn't been playing as, has, as great lately. I like the Buffalo Bills to win comfortably at home. Touchdown. Give me the Bills at minus seven over the 49ers. Cleveland. Browns versus the Denver Broncos. Right now, the line is at five and a half. The Broncos have been playing very well, especially Bo Nix. Since week four, he has thrown 16 touchdowns and two interceptions. His great quarterback play is keeping this Broncos team not only alive to make the playoffs, but he's keeping himself alive to win the Rookie of the Year award towards the end of the season. I know the Browns have a puncher's chance with Jameis Winston, but don't know how I feel about him throwing on this Denver Broncos defense that's pretty much top 10 in the NFL. I like to take a stab at the Denver Broncos at minus five and a half. I like them to at least beat the Browns by less than two field goals. So give me the Denver Broncos at minus five and a half. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week 13 NFL spread picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.